Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, say it with me, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. As you can see right up there in the title, I have made a return visit to Lockhart State Park. Yappy had some, some things to do in Lockhart. And of course, I, I needed to sample some barbecue. Yeah, I had to sample some barbecue. Because Lockhart is pretty much the, the heart of Texas barbecue. Now, the last time I was here, I went with just one different, or, or the, anyway, it wasn't it. <laughs> I, won't, I won't be going back to that place. That's, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So anyway, in case you missed the first visit to Lockhart State Park, let me show you what my site looks like. I'm in site number three. Now the camping, the RV full connection sites, and this is a full connection site, here, here at Lockhart, the, the full connection sites are in a, a loop, a circle, a, a flower pattern, and back over there is the golf course. That's right, Lockhart State Park is, the best of my knowledge, the only Texas State Park that actually has an, an operating golf course, as well as a swimming pool. But we'll get into that when we go see the stuff. We're talking about site number three. Nothing extreme, nothing exotic about it. Uh, it does slope to the rear. I needed to block up the rear wheels because driver's side was off pavement we're looking right out at the golf course that just happens to be closed they're they're working on the sprinkler system and no there no no indication when that's going to be reopened but that's all right i'm i'm not a i'm not a golfer as i mentioned it is full connection 50 amp water sewer and you can see that I've actually connected the sewer, emptied our tanks, flushed the black tank. We have a fire ring slash steak griller, charcoal cooker with mesquite laid in. And it's actually a, on a pivot. We've got a metal cover wood picnic table and a concrete pad great view that's actually to the south so we got a good south breeze coming in we'll have shade from the afternoon sun ha! that's what i'm talking about a breeze and shade just what we need in june all this left is for me to, you'll notice the truck is gone i had to chunk all my stuff out real quick that's right i said chunk i got, had to get it out I said i gotta go i gotta go okay anyway we have sable and i have the valkyrie on the back of the coach and i will need both i'll at least need the valkyrie because there's some stuff we gotta see on top of that hill and on my last visit i went up that hill on and i, I regretted it <laughs> to this day i regretted that i went up it on the on yappy's mountain bike because my my scooter was i'm rambling we need it you're, you're not here to, to to listen to me ramble you're here to see the stuff so let me get things situated, find my helmet, grab some camera batteries. We'll go see some Lockhart State Park stuff. Lockhart State Park was constructed initially, or was originally constructed by the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps, company number 3803. And there are several structures still remaining that those boys built. I, I love going to these old CCC parks and, and seeing their, their build, what they built. Because it was all mostly built by hand. 
and they did some just some of the most fascinating stone work. This is kind of an example of some of the amazing stuff they did. It's an old water tower. There's a couple of Texas state parks, like Mother Neff State Park, where you can go up into the tower. Not this one. We've got a bat house. That's cool. I can see something, something white down there, but I don't know what it is. Getting down there might be a, might be a bit of a challenge. There is, a, there is a trail I may attempt later. I may attempt that on the, on the e-bike, the Vetuvia. I've been real happy with that e-bike. Another an, another hallmark of the the CCC projects was the the dance floor. It was once a week they would hold a, a dance for the the locals. For the I'm sorry, I was looking at the the steps going down. They would hold a dance for all the locals and and the boys that were doing the building on the dance pavilion. So oh, like Paul, P Palmetto State Park uh, is a good example, Palmetto State Park. They've, they've cleared out some of the trees since the last time I was here. Last time I was here, you had no view. Can you imagine how beautiful this view would have been or would be if some of that brush was gone? Anyway. So if you have a group of folks that are wanting to get together, like for a family reunion or something, this building is air conditioned and it has a kitchen. Of course, the, the doors are locked, which is to be expected. Maybe we can peek in through here. Can't really see much. That's a little better view. The live edge lap sighting is also another CCC hallmark. Used to be a water fountain. That's a pretty little groove right there. No, I don't think that was, I don't think that's from the era of the CCC. It's just cool old buildings. All right. Let's take a gander at this map. Of course, you can look at park maps on the website. We are here. Now the CCC trail goes down that hill. We may come back and do that. Right now, we're, we're seeing all the stuff on the paved roads. We're gonna go back down the hill and see some more CCC stuff. CC, we're gonna go see some CCC. CC, C, we're gonna see the CCC. You see what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's go see some stuff. Good reason why I don't want a great big motor home. Bigger than what I already have. I mean, we had to do like a 10 point turn to get turn around there. Still in kind of drought conditions here in central Texas, south central Texas. And I'm, and I'm saying that because we're, we're gonna look at the bridge that was constructed by the boys from the CCC. And they've built a couple of dams as well. 
you can f you can fish in the stream there's perch bass and catfish and if need be you can get borrow fishing tackle from the office i certainly wouldn't uh recommend anybody trying to swim in that water because that's nasty it's nasty now on my previous visit this these streams were running strong Not so much now. Barely even running. All right. Let's, let's go see some more Lockhart Park State. Lockhart State Park stuff. State Park stuff. You'll have to use your imagination. Back in the day, this was one of the largest swimming pools. I think I think it was one of the largest swimming pools in the state. I don't know. I, I seem to have heard that somewhere. Maybe I should just edit that out. But this was a great big swimming pool back in the day. And that was also built by the CCC. We've got a very cool dam structure. It's like two dams. And I think the water was used, water from this creek was used to fill the swimming pool. So if I was going to be doing any fishing here, this is where I would want to fish. Nice and deep. Now, I'm not sure of the time frame, but at some point they determined that it was it was no longer safe for people to swim in the CCC built constructed the CCC constructed pool. And so they built another one. It's 10 feet, so there's diving boards, 10 feet to 3 feet. So if you need a place to cool off, don't swim in the creek, swim in the pool. If you've got a group of folks that are looking for an activity here at Lockhart State Park, you can always come and play some volleyball. That's what the net's for. Cool. That is also a, a CCC construct. It, it's now the a park ranger residence, but that is just so cool. Love with that old how that old oak tree just kind of accents the whole picture. It's also the maintenance area for the golf course, and as I mentioned, the golf course is off line. They're they're re rebuilding the reworking the. Hold up, I'm hung. My butt's hung. They're reworking the sprinkler system, so you you can't play golf right now, but you you'll be able to come back and play later. All right, let's go find some more stuff. So another example of the CCC construction. It, it has not weathered as well as a lot of them over, man, that's almost, what, 90 years? Over 80 years. But it's still there. That's pretty impressive when you're tromping in the woods out here. Be mindful, copperheads and rattlesnakes. Now the park originally, hold on, let me get up here. There were two entrances. And this was the main entrance, I guess until that bridge became unsafe. So you got the, that was the original entrance there. Now that's just part of the hiking trail system. 
which there's a very extensive hiking trail system here at Lockhart State Park. And if you're hale and fit, you might want to do some hiking. I'm going to do some biking. We're going to go do a, a virtual tour. And then we'll go see some more stuff. If you're planning a visit to Lockhart State Park and you're going to be bringing the kiddos with you, you'll be happy to know that there is a very cool play structure that is just perfect for having a good old time. They've even got some of those fun swing sets. You can go real high and jump off. Just be careful not to break an ankle. They also have this really cool basketball court. Let's see if we can get down there on, on the scooter. Can we do it? Yes, we can. So they have shuffleboard as well as basketball and whatever else you would do on a basketball big flat piece of concrete looks like they played some volleyball maybe some roller hockey i don't know one thing i really want to do though is ride the golf course virtual tour of the golf course when they way back in the day when they built this they wanted it to be a, a nice fun hiking trail i guess maybe they just wanted to hold some water back so that they would have a place to fish It would appear that maybe there's a spring right there. That's nasty. You're gonna wanna come back when there's some water. <laughs> after, after it's rained. But that really does, that, that does look like a spring right there. A big spring. And then there's water coming out right there. Okay, we need to go do the handicap shower check. Lockhart, Texas is considered to be the barbecue capital of Texas. So if you're gonna be visiting Lockhart State Park, you, you gotta have some barbecue. Now, according to several sources that I have researched, uh, there's a barbecue war going on in Lockhart. There's a barbecue war happening in Lockhart. Uh, there's the... Uh, I don't know who all the players are. I think there's like three players, maybe four. But there are four places that serve barbecue in Lockhart. Two of them are... Family. So you have the blacks, the original blacks, and then you have the other, I don't know. And then you have the crews, and then you have the Chisholm Trail. So there's four different places. On my previous visit, I had the Chisholm Trail barbecue. I was less than impressed. On our way south, heading down to Gonzales, I paid a visit to Cruz and grabbed some barbecue to go. Uh, that's a huge, massive facility that they've put up there. It's kind of weird the way they've, they've got it laid out. 
you pay twice, so you pay once for your meat, and then you pay again for your sides and extras. And what irritates me is that you get the tip prompt for, for both of them. And this barbecue, <laughs> this is not cheap stuff. So I was not impressed with the Chisholm Trail, and that's supposedly the, the locals preferred establishment. I, I don't see how that can be. Cruz barbecue, it was good. A little, a little more salty than I like, but it was it was very good. Uh, it was very pricey, but I have nothing to compare it to. So, uh, you know, ha half a pound of brisket and half a rack of spare ribs for 60 bucks seems like a lot. I don't know. Anyway, I visited Black's today, the original Black's in downtown. I like the way that system is set up. I only paid once. They 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 moved me through the line. It wasn't confusing. And they gave me a military discount without my even asking. And that's good cuz it still hurt. <laughs> But anyway, to what I, let's, let's take a look at what I got from Blacks. Now, I'm not passing judgment so much as I am just trying to find what I want to eat. So I got baby backs. Now, they did not have baby backs at the cruise market. So I got half a rack of baby backs and I got half a pound of sliced brisket. I like my brisket sliced. And we're gonna give it a, a taste. It is very fall apart tender. And I'm not a barbecue judge. We don't have a real huge smoke ring, but we got a nice crust. That's pretty good. That's really good. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. That is how you cook a baby by rib right there. Mmm. Wow. <clears throat> I've been eating without the sauce. That's another thing. When I went through the line at Cruise, that was extra. I guess. They didn't give me any. I didn't ask for any. It's a vinegar based sauce. <clears throat> Man, that meat is just good without the sauce on it. Mm. Yeah. That's a burn in. Mm.
<clears throat> yes, ma'am. This was from Black. I was just informed that I was pronouncing the the Cruz barbecue wrong. Cruz. I don't know how it's pronounced. I, I'm sorry if I if I offend anybody by mispronouncing. But if you don't know how to pronounce it, you don't know how to pronounce it. So far, I'm leaning towards Blacks. I was also just informed that there's Smitty's. So I'm gonna have to give Smitty's a try. And then there's the other Blacks. It's not gonna happen this trip. Dang, I gotta come back down here to eat some barbecue. Good morning from Lockhart State Park. It's a pretty little campground. Really quiet. Nothing but the sound of air conditioners running. <laughs> we've seen we've seen quite a few deer last night and this morning out, out here on the golf course. So I never made it into the I was not able to get footage of the, the showers for you yesterday or today for that matter considering that's the only, there, there's only one shower facility, there's actually only one restroom facility for the whole campground. And since we're in the full connection loop, that's not that big of an issue for us and most of the other RVs that are back here. But there's still, every time I, I went over there, it was occupied in one fashion or the other. <laughs> So just know, if you're in a hurry, you might not get in. And there's nowhere else to go. Have a backup plan. <laughs> We're done here in Lockhart. I like this little state park. This is a good... Uh, I don't know that I'd want to stay here for a week. I think you'd get bored after a day or two of exploring barbecue restaurants uh, the town of Lockhart's pretty it's, it's neat they've got a really cool courthouse here no question about that but I think you ought to at least pay one pay a visit for a day or two so you can come and experience the Lockhart barbecue scene plug in and have some cool air blowing on you we're done here we're gonna head on up to Lake Travis that's our next destination that'll be campground number Number five, so, so far we've had four campsites in six, four campsites, five days. We're gonna be ended up, we'll, we'll finish up this trip with six campgrounds in six days. Something like that. Seven if you count Tranquility Base. The kids will enjoy coming here with the swimming pool and the playground. Uh, and when the creek's running, that looks like a fun place to explore. We're done. Time to move on down the road. If this is your, if you found some value or entertainment out of this little video, this little Lockhart State Park video, you know what to do. Blast it out across your social media. Getting close to 20,000 subs, and that's an exciting mile marker for us. If this is your first visit to the Dude RV Experience, I'd be most grateful if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. It helps so much with the, the YouTube algorithm. And if you've already subscribed and have been following along, here's to you. Thank you so much for that. It, touches my heart and I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for y'all so thank you for that and for our patrons we are most grateful <laughs> you guys rock all right y'all come back now you hear